Making a video for your business? This is one of the biggest decisions you'll make and the success of your video will be determined when you're writing the script. This is because your script lays out the story and it specifies everything that will happen in your video when you create it. My company WiseIsle has scripted and created more than 3,000 animated videos for companies all around the world. And in this video, I'll share my top tips for writing an amazing script. So stay tuned. Writing a script is arguably the most important part of creating a video. It lets you plan your messaging, whittling down dozens of competing ideas into a coherent structure. It lets you estimate video length ahead of filming or production. It saves time, often lots of time, because at the script stage you can make changes almost instantly, which helps you avoid the time and expense of making changes to a video you've already filmed or created. And it facilitates collaboration, letting everyone chip in and have their say on what does and doesn't need to be in the video, and how it should all come together. So how do we go about writing a script? I'll go through it now step by step. And stick around to the end because I'm going to share my proven formula for structuring your video. At WiseR we've created a simple but powerful script document. We write the voiceover on the left hand side and the action on screen on the right. This keeps both sections separate and easy to follow side by side. Using this document or something similar gives you a simple chronological rundown of scenes, action and dialogue that you want to appear in your video. I've included a link to download our script template in the description of this video so hopefully that saves you a little bit of time so you don't have to create your own. But before we even open that document the first thing you need to do is plan your video. Planning before you get started is so important and it can save you lots of time, money and headaches. At WiseR we ask our clients to complete a short brief form before we write their script and we also fill out this form ourselves for any internal video projects we work on. It asks just the right questions to unpack everything you need to think about when writing your script. Your brief or plan document should cover what the video is about, who the audience is, how long the video should be, whether the video is going to be used, any key messages, any important data points, visual style, and what you want the viewer to do after watching. Based on this information, you should have enough to put together a first draft of the script. So fire up the script document and let's get writing. Now, an important pointer, we work to a rule that a well-paced professional voiceover is read at around 135 words a minute. 135 words of voiceover generally equates to a minute long voiceover track. Obviously some scripts will be faster and some slower, some will have lots of short words and some will have many longer words, but based on our experience of creating thousands of videos, this is a good number to work to. When you know this, it gives you a great way to manage the content you want to cover, whilst also considering the length of the video and how it will resonate with your audience. Split up your voiceover into clear sections as you write, avoid big chunky passages and keep everything short and snappy. And Pair each section with a written description of what's going to happen on screen at the same time. Timing is important here. You need to make sure that the voiceover and the action on screen are well matched up for each section, and this will avoid any rushed voiceover or long periods without anything interesting happening on screen. Remember to finish with a call to action. This is something that you want your viewer to do next. Now it's time for you to edit. One thing you really want to be aware of is the length of your video. You can calculate this by using a word counter to count how many words there are in your voiceover. Then use a calculator and divide the word count by one. 3, 5, then multiply that number by 60 to get your rough video length in seconds. Remember, attention spans are shrinking all the time and your audience is easily distracted, so try and keep things short and to the point. It's important to get in the mind of your audience here and be super selective about what does and doesn't really need to be included. Finally, once you're happy with how the script's looking, it's time to circulate it to everyone who needs to have input. We use a Google Doc for this as it means everyone can chip in and make comments and suggestions. Remember, it's important to get things nailed down in the script document before moving forwards. Don't kick the can down the road, get things resolved at the script stage. I can't stress how important this is and how much time it'll save you down the line. Okay, if you're really struggling to know where to start, this simple formula might be helpful. Of course, no two videos are exactly the same, but this classic formula helps us get started time after time. Part one is to identify your audience and state the problem. So start by defining the pain point your product or service has been introduced to overcome, and then elaborate on it a little bit more. So, you know, what does it mean? How is it manifesting itself in your target audience's life? And how is it holding them back? Specifying the pain point at the start of the video will make it instantly resonate with your 
target audience who will be having the same problems and this will get them hooked and wanting to know more. Part two is to offer your product or service as the solution. So explain very briefly what your product or service is and how it solves the problem you just illustrated. Part three is to run through a small number of your main benefits and USPs, things that differentiate your product or service from the competition. And part four is the call to action. It's pretty much impossible to get across everything about your product or service into 60 seconds. So at the end of the video, you really need to give your viewers a signpost to nudge them along to the next step in your sales journey. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea of why scripting is so important and how to go ahead and get started. To recap, keep it short, keep it simple, and keep it engaging. Remember, your audience has other things pulling at their attention span. And do just enough to excite them and get them to the next stage in your journey. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, remember to subscribe to the channel for weekly videos to help you build and grow your business. Thank you.